Hi everybody, I'm John Harris. Welcome to It's Showtime South Jersey, our newest program here on Quinn Broadcasting. It's a little out of the norm for some of the stuff here on Quinn. We're going to do talk, we're going to interview people that uh, are in the arts field, the entertainment field. We're going to have some of them perform some things. We're going to go on the road and see some South Jersey entertainers in action. We're going to have some of them come in here, some music some comedy, uh, some type of entertainment that's going to come in. But not just that, folks. We're going to go on the road a little bit. It's going to be an hour-long show, and we're going to go out, and we're going to see different venues and different events. We're going to go visit the, the, the arts. We're going to go see some things that uh, are very interesting here in New Jersey, as well as some of the local businesses as well have those come in as vet, uh, guests as well. And if you are a, uh, a nonprofit or uh, are affiliated with the, one of the, the uh, wonderful towns here in South Jersey, one of the municipalities, let us know if you have an event or if you want to come on and talk about your municipality or something going on there. Also, uh, any nonprofit organization, feel free to get a hold of us. You're going to see a phone number on the bottom of the screen and our email address. Use those, get a hold of us, and we'll be more than glad to have you on the show so that we can have an interesting and a fun show here because it is Showtime South Jersey. Hi everybody, John Harris here. It's Showtime in South Jersey here on the Quinn Broadcasting Channel. I want to thank everybody at Quinn for uh, letting us do this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, producer Josh Suey is in the booth tonight. Thanks, Josh. Anthony Haynes, I think, is still in there, at least helping out in the beginning and, and getting things running right since this is our inaugural show. I was able to say inaugural. Pretty close to its correct pronunciation. That's, that's close. Uh, my name's John Harris, and uh, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Thanks to Jim Quinn, of course, uh, for uh, letting me have the space and uh, letting us do the show. We're going to have a lot of fun. You already saw the introduction, of course, so you know uh, what we're going to try and do. I'm going to introduce the very first guest on my show here. It's going to be a friend of mine. He's a comic. He's played shows where I've been. He's played shows for the, the, the venues and the shows that I've done. His name is Tom Mongelli. Tom, welcome. Thank you very much for being the first guest on our show tonight. I appreciate it. Thank you, John. I'm happy to be here. It's uh, Well, that makes well, we'll say two of us. <laughs> I'm obviously a little nervous at the moment, but uh, let's let's uh, talk about a couple things here, Tom. Uh, one, uh, as a comic, uh, it's always interesting to find out how comics got started. How did you get started, Tom? I got started um, under the tutelage of Floyd Vivino, Uncle Floyd. Uncle Floyd. Uncle, that's a, there we a, go. Name it's, from the yeah, past. Yeah, right? it is. Well, he's still he's, performing. Say, he's still out there. I was. I performed with him this past Saturday night. Did you really? Yeah. I thought I saw something along those lines. Now, where was that at? That was uh, Brook Theater in uh, Brook Bound Brook. Got it's uh, Central Jersey. Central Jersey. Yeah. There's a question for you. You Go folks ahead. can uh, can answer it. Even our studio audience uh, can answer this if they want. <laughs> uh, there's always the debate. Is there really a quote-unquote Central Jersey, or is it just North Jersey and South Jersey? Well, it's my opinion. Yeah, this is right. I was going to say, so we don't have scientific data on this, no. right? All right, so no. what's your opinion? My opinion is there's a, a North, a Central, and a South. Wow. You must yeah. live in Central, though. I grew up in North. Okay. You ever hear of a town called Mawa? Yes. Yeah, I'm not from there. You're not from there? No, but they opened a <laughs> Wawa in Mawa. A Wawa in Mawa. Yeah, I called there like... 11 times a day just to hear him answer the phone, ma wa 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 Boy, and uh, that would be tough to do. Yeah. <laughs> that would be. Imagine if you're the same guy that's answering the phone and you call it every time. <laughs> Hi, ma wa 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 Hi, is this ma wa 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 Is this ma wa 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 I mean, the same guy every time you call right. would probably be going, fix this guy again! <laughs> you know, and every time you, do you have milk there? What's that? Do you have milk there at yeah, the right. ma wa wa <laughs> Do you have waffles at the Mawa Wawa? You know, I can come up with some more stuff. That would just, you know, oh, I, you would drive me nuts. Uh -huh. I'd be calling the cops to try to trace down the number. Well, give me that caller ID. I'm finding that guy. <laughs> That's funny, though. That's funny. Uh -huh. um, so, um, Boundbrook. So, it's up in that area in central Jersey? Yeah, it's kind of New Brunswick-y. Okay. 
<laughs> New Brunswick yeah. there's, a, there's kind of a, a verb and a noun and all of the same thing. So, uh, so uh, and you were there with Uncle Floyd and who else? Uh, it was uh, Julia Scotty. Okay, from America's Got Talent. America's Very Got good. Talent. Very and, funny. Uh, the host Great. was, uh, exactly, uh, <laughs> from New Jersey <laughs> 101.5, Steve Trevelis. Oh, Steve Trevelis. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Heard of him as well. Very good, very funny guy. Right. Uh, I wasn't scheduled for the show. I just stopped it. Oh, really? I, I was going to watch the show. Right. But I went into the green room in the back to say hello, say and, hello and everything. And next thing you know, you're next on Next thing, it, right? I'm on the show. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Nah. Sometimes it pays just to be in the room, doesn't yeah, exactly. it? Exactly. So good for you. Um, now, when did you start? How long have you been doing comedy? I've been doing it for seven years. Okay. And uh, I love to make people laugh. All right. I'm hoping that comes in the eighth year. Uh, that would be nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Always something to strive for. Looking um, forward. Yeah. That would be good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, so you've been doing, and where did, where did you start? I started in a, an Italian restaurant in North Halden, New Jersey called Colucci's. Uncle Floyd used to perform there every Tuesday night. He'd okay. play his piano, mm -hmm. his parody songs, he'd do some shtick, and he would bring people up from the audience. Okay. So yeah, the the singing bus driver, the, the old guy that played the banjo. Well, we were hanging out in a, in a bagel shop one morning. He heard some of my one-liners. He says, why don't you come down to Colucci's? I'll bring you up and I'll let you do some five stuff. minutes. Yeah. So yeah, two, every Tuesday for two years, I did that. Wow. Every Tuesday for two years. Yeah. Now, was that the only place you were playing uh, at the time? Um, or did you branch out the, a little bit? Well, toward after. the end, I ended up taking uh, classes at uh, Scotty's Comedy Cove in Springfield. Okay. And uh, one thing led to another. Right. You know. Yeah. And sometimes those classes are good not just to hone your skills, but to also network a little bit. Absolutely. You know, uh, and, that, and that always helps as well. Yeah. Uh, so you started seven years ago. Uh, where else have you played? Talk to me. I know you've been all over the place. I've seen. You know. I've I've been at Parks Casino in, in okay. Pennsylvania. Okay. Uh, Broadway Comedy Club in Manhattan. Yep. Did that a few times. Um, I love other... that place. I love a New York crowd. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I like any crowd. I really do. But I will say, uh, when you get somebody going to Broadway Comedy Club or you get somebody going to Dangerfields, you've probably found this out. All they want is comedy. Right, right. They're not there to hear anything else. Uh -huh. uh, so if you go right after them, they love that. Uh, not, not a timid audience. Right. Um, you can get a heckler or two, mm -hmm. but to me that's part of the fun of doing it. So Part of the challenge of a New York audience though, there tends to be a lot of travelers from overseas. Yes. And a, so, lot, a lot of my jokes in particular don't translate. Uh, that's True. And by translating, I mean, they don't realize it, it doesn't mean the language itself, but it does mean the meaning of it within a societal norm. Exactly. You know, their they their culture the same... is different than ours. So they haven't been Right. They've seen uh, different exposed. TV shows yep. and different connotations. Yeah. So a lot of that, you're right. I, I, I have seen that and noticed that. Um, it's always a lot of fun, though. Uh -huh. with those guys. But you know what? As long as you have a good crowd and they're receptive, it's always fun. I, yeah. Uh, would you, let me ask you this, uh, you'll be the first comic being on this show, so this will be an interesting question for me. Would you rather have a heckler or, or be heckled, or would you rather have stone silence? I'd rather have a heckler. I was a public school teacher in Patterson, New Jersey. No. I can handle heckling. I was just going to say that you already had exposure. <laughs> you you were already set. You didn't need to. Yeah, you, know, you didn't even need to practice. It was like, you right. know, please. Uh -huh. I'm in the same boat. Sometimes I get there, and you're getting laughs, but it's almost like sometimes you want somebody to say something. It's right. Like, somebody, please. And sometimes <laughs> I'll pick on somebody, and, and I've seen folks like you and other people. You, know, you point somebody out because you just want some interaction. Yeah. Uh, help us out here, folks. Now, doing this seven years, I've never had a heckler. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yep. Year eight's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Did you break a mirror? You had bad luck or something? What's going on with the seven years? I don't know. Oh, man. But the, hey, let's, let's hope for the best with it. Um, you never know. It, I always thought if I didn't have a heckler once in a while, maybe I wasn't striking a chord. Yeah. But that's because of the type of comedy everybody does. 
yours, I've seen you, everybody can relate to what you're saying. You know, and you make it's it... It's broad comedy. And it's broad comedy. And you make it self-deprecating as well. And um, so everybody kind of knows what you're saying and what you're doing. Right. Um, and that, to me, is a lot of fun. Um, so why did you start comedy? That's kind of an interesting story. Okay. Um, what? Here. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, when I was young, I had an older sister that passed away. Okay. At five and a half. Mm. Sent my mother into a terrible depression. Right. So my whole childhood was spent trying to cheer her up. Okay. That and makes sense. Yeah. And that just became ingrained in my personality to make people laugh. Always make people laugh. Right? Yep. And I think, to be honest with you, most, com well, not most, but a lot of comedians are like that. Mm -hmm. The challenge, I mean, the challenge to me every day isn't even necessarily on stage. You're right. It's every day. Mm -hmm. If I see somebody that's all ticked off or bummed out about something, uh, I want to make them laugh for a minute or make right. them think for a minute. Right. And usually, usually it's like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got them. You know? right. If it just helps them out for a, a few minutes every day or a minute or two every day, to me, that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and, and to me, it's almost a challenge sometimes. You get somebody that doesn't seem to be reacting. Well, uh, I got to keep going. I can't stop. Right. And I admit, it's an obsession. I'm going to say something that's going to make you at least look at me and go, jeez, <laughs> will you stop? And there's a grin on your face or you're just, stop it, dude. And, and there you go. And I think a lot of comics are that way. I've always felt there was a form of uh, Tourette syndrome with me. Okay. It's like I can't help myself. I just have to, you, you know. You just have to get it out, right? Yeah. Oh, man. I think I'm kind of in that boat. Uh, I don't know if it's Tourette syndrome. My mother, God rest her soul, before she passed away, a couple days before then, she knew she was passing away. She's in the hospital. Uh, she calls me and she chases everybody out of the room because I'm the oldest son. Of course, mm -hmm. she says what every mother probably tells every kid, you're my favorite. Right. And then when you leave and the next one comes in, you're my favorite. Uh -huh. you know? uh -huh. she, she was good for that toward the end. But she looks at me. And she says, I worry about you the most. And I said, huh? I worry about you the most. She goes, your younger brothers are married and settled down. Your sister's settled. Uh -huh. Everybody's all, you know, they all have their occupations. You've been a lawyer, a cowboy, a firefighter, and all these other things you've done. Radio disc jockey. And, she, and she's listing them. Uh -huh. I was like, I didn't even know she was paying attention. <laughs> but she went through all these things and then looks at me and she goes, but you're the one I'm afraid. And then she was assuming, I don't know if she was assuming she was going up or down, uh, but she says, but you're the one I'm afraid I'm going to see first. Oh, wow. And I was like, why? What, what are you talking about? And she's like, you don't have a filter and you don't have an off switch. <laughs> she goes, somebody someday. I said, I've done a lot of dangerous things. Doesn't matter. Somebody someday mm -hmm. is going to have their fill and you are, I'm going to be seeing you. Well, family well, reunions are always fun. I, 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 yeah, I was all along that line going, well, I'm going to miss you till then, Mike. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. And I went, I'm using a filter now. <laughs> went, no, you're not. Get out of it. Uh, so, yeah, I think you're right. I think uh, it, it, you got to know where you stop and cross the line, but that takes time. And, and I think that takes time with either every audience or every individual person you talk to. Right. Yeah. I mean... It's you true. tell me. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to agree just because you're on my show. You can disagree. We can debate. I don't I care. I still agree. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I tried to get him to disagree, folks, but it just didn't work. I'm, I'm trying, though. Uh, no, I'm, only, I'm not. I'm not trying. Uh, I have a couple more questions for Tom when we come back from a break in a few minutes, and then, um, um, and then Tom's going to give us a little sampling of uh, what we're. Uh, what we're in for when we come see him at, at shows all over New Jersey, all over the East Coast, all over South Jersey. But we're going to take a quick break. It's showtime, South Jersey. Let's do this. Come on back. More than a century ago, General Tire was born right here in America. Since then, we've made a name for ourselves by making tires you can depend on. Tires built to handle any road this country can throw at them and relied on by every kind of driver. So you know that no matter where life takes you, with General Tire, anywhere is possible.
Serve Pro of Cape May and Cumberland Counties make damage to your business like it never even happened. Water in your business brings damage, mold, and stress. Serve Pro of Cape May and Cumberland Counties take the headache out of dealing with water. Serve Pro's team will come into your business and remove any trace of water. Strike back quickly before a little headache becomes a big problem. When damage strikes, strike back with Serve Pro of Cape May and Cumberland Counties. C&H Disposal Service has provided customers with the best customer service possible since 1981. C&H Disposal Service provides trash removal, dumpster rentals, septic cleaning, repair and installation, septic system certifications, portable restroom rentals, and demolition. With great customer service and competitive pricing, C&H Disposal Service has you covered at the home and on the job. C&H Disposal Service, stick with the best. Are you tired of people talking about the past? We are too. We are taking TV to the next level. On QBC TV 22, we have an amazing selection of original content, starting from local celebrity interviews to straight up madness. This isn't just our TV station, it is your local TV station. Turn to QBC TV 22 right now to see what we are watching together. Hi everybody, John Harris back with you on It's Showtime here in South Jersey. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. Tom, again, thanks for being the first guest. It's awful, it's awful uh, nice of you to be uh, the standard bearer, if you will. Oh, wow. Nothing that other guests have to go, man, if I'm not that good, I'm done. <laughs> so, uh, uh, thanks for setting the bar. Okay. Yeah. Uh, usually I go to the bar, but you know, that's a whole different thing. <laughs> hey, Josh, do we have that... Uh, um, uh, background. I'm sorry, my, my producer Josh Suey and I discussed something earlier and we thought, there we go, Tom. I wanted to make you feel at oh, home. Wow, that's great. So I found you a big dining room so that you feel a little better, more I, at ease. I always I know, like big dining rooms. I, I know that about you. <laughs> I, so I thought, you know what, let Tom feel a little better about where he is. All right. And I know you, uh, you would appreciate that. That is uh, normally, I believe, either a buffet. Uh, I'm not sure where that's at. But uh, it looks to me like it could be a nice Sunday buffet or a nice brunch, if you will. Okay. Um, uh, which I'm no stranger to those, my friend, either. You know, <laughs> no um, but uh, so we started about, uh, we, we, we talked about why you started comedy. And we talked about how. Uh, and you said seven years ago is when, right? Right. Well, and, and some of the places, I know you said Broadway. Broadway, um, Greenwich Village, Greenwich Comedy Village. Club. Okay. Um, Polka Nuts and the Poconos. Polka nuts. Yeah. Wow. Is it P O C O or polka? No, P O C O. P O C O. Polka yeah, yeah, yeah. nuts. And I mean, okay. I've been up to Ronkonkoma, Long Island. I was going to say you've Gateway been... Comedy. Okay. Uh, uh, I've been down here in Violand and I was going to say I know you were in Cape May with us a we few were weeks in Cape ago. May. Um, I was just yep. just in Wildwood. Uh, yep. I was just oh, in Atlantic City. In wow. Egg Harbor City. So you're all over the place. All over the place. Uh, how? Can people find you if they want to come see you? People and can find me uh, uh, Google Maps. No. <laughs> <laughs> One place I don't want you to tell yet because I'm sure you'll tell it in a little bit. Okay. Um, <laughs> you can find me on my website, which is uh, comictommongelli.com. And your name will be, again, probably up there again. So it'll be comictommongelli.com. Comic Tom Mongelli, all one word, yep. dot com. And uh, on there, there's my uh, schedule of upcoming shows. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yep. I've got a, a show coming up, uh, I think, the end of this month, the 23rd and 24th, or 22nd and 23rd, at okay. Scotty's Comedy Cove in Springfield, New Jersey. Okay. I think I've been, I think I played that one. Okay. I did play that one. All right. And of course, I played Broadway. Right. Uh, were you ever, did you ever do Sidewalk Cafe? No. Okay. That's a pretty nice place, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Every Sunday night, they have something. I think they still do. I'm not sure. Yeah. But that was a pretty nice place, too. Up in New That's in New York, as well. Right, right. And I'm going to be uh, pr uh, producing a show in uh, Flemington, New Jersey, the Stangled wow. Stage. Nice. For the uh, Friends of Historic Flemington. 
Okay, historic Flemington. Because yes. you don't want to be in the non-historic Flemington. No, that's uh, the bad part of town. That's the bad part of town. Yeah. That's no good. No history, though. <laughs> no. So. They have trigonometry, though. Oddly enough. Oh, okay. So if there's no history, but they got trig, so they right. got a little math going. You can that's count good. on them. That's good. Yeah. You're also, and, you, and you've been very modest not to mention it, but I'm going to talk about it because I was on it and I thought it was a lot of fun. You're also on a podcast. Oh, yes. Yes. I do a podcast with uh, my co host, Doug Max, who's also a comic. Okay. At least that's what he alleges. <laughs> and <laughs> Hi, Doug. If you're watching us, hey. <laughs> Uh, uh, I was hoping to see you soon, but now I'm thinking, thanks, Tom. Thanks a lot. <laughs> the show is called Funny Talk with Mangelli and Max. Okay. And it, uh, we broadcast out of Hamilton Radio in uh, Robbinsville, New Jersey. Yes. And uh, Now, you've changed studios too, right? It's the same. same well, we, same we went, moved to a new studio. New studio, right. right. No, no green screens, but... Well, yeah, but you're supposed to be on a podcast. There's a piece of cheesecake in the fridge that's a little green, so, you know. I'm okay with that. <laughs> By the time I got up there that night, if we hadn't stopped to eat first, I would have probably ate that thing. <laughs> but uh, we did stuff. It was a nice yeah. restaurant up there. But uh, that show's a lot of fun. Yeah. You guys have a lot of fun with that. And, uh, and I appreciate the fact that you just had me on. Uh, uh -huh. um, so that, that was a lot of fun. Well, it, okay. It's always fun to be a guest, uh -huh. to me. Uh, a little less pressure, but, but we're having some fun now, so that's good. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, folks, I know I've been talking to Tom about comedy, but you know what? It's time that we let him do his thing. Um, it's been done before, but we're going to do it again today. Tom is going to be one of the, I still think there's only a few of you in the world, that do sit-down comedy. That's right. So I'm going to have Tom Mongelli, uh, East Coast known comedian from Mongelli and Max podcast and Tom Mongelli comedy dot com. Tom, please take it away and give us a sampling of some of the things folks are, will hear if they come out to see you. Thank you. John is correct. I'm not standing up because I just uh, I had an injury and I had to get an operation. Um, but I uh, I have cheap insurance, so I had to get, go to a discount surgical center called Suit Yourself. <laughs> So, go figure. So anyway, I'm sitting down. I'm coming to you live from, uh, where the heck are we? We are in beautiful downtown, not really downtown, Bridgeton, New Jersey. Bridgeton, New Jersey. Bridgeton, New right. Jersey. I, I, I forget. I'm originally from North Jersey. Um, have you ever heard of, we, we, we did this already, didn't we? We did this, yeah. Yeah. But I have heard of it. Yeah, you have heard of it. Yeah. Anyway, I'm originally from North Jersey, but I recently moved down to Lakehurst which is where the Hindenburg disaster was. Okay. Yep. Right? Yeah. No, uh, no more Hinden. Now I'm the only blimp in no. Lakers. Oh, jeez. No, you're kidding. It's true. Oh. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I, uh, I've been gaining weight ever since the operation. Oh, okay. I was well, cesarean. I'm okay. Yeah. Ever since. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's been a while. <laughs> and uh, Our my, studio audience, I don't think, thinks they can laugh out loud. Let it rip if you yeah, have to. Go yeah, ahead. Let's go it's ahead. Okay. We're used to having an audience, I so let, it's better if you do. I let one rip a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, you did. Trust me. The screen wasn't really green a minute ago. <laughs> go ahead, Tom. <laughs> Since the host interrupting. <laughs> but anyway, uh, you might recognize me from the X-Men movies. I, uh, really? I played 4X. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And um, I thought I, I saw you there. I've tried all the different diets, too. I've been on Fatkins, Waste Watchers, Overcheaters, Anonymous. Okay. I was even on Jenny Craig until she yelled at me to get off. Say, what happened? She yelled at you to get off? Yeah. Oh, get I can't breathe. Oh, I hate when that happens. Yeah. What well, yeah. are you going to do? Well, but I actually went to a Jimmy Buffett concert because I thought it was all you can eat. Oh, no. Yeah, that's how fat I am. That's not good. No. Then I went to go see Meatloaf. Right. I was the only there? one there with a doggy bag. Oh, no good. That's not no. good. Oh. No. It was actually, it was Meatloaf, uh -huh. corn, right. red hot chili peppers, uh -huh. and Limp Biscuit. Wow, that ha that's a heck of a heck of a heck of a heck of a. It's entree. a heck of a yeah. It was the, it was the meals meals on wheels meals tour. on wheels tour. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> uh, had to hit a diner on the way home, but mm -hmm. you, yeah, know. you know you were still hungry. What are you gonna do? No, you're not. I'm always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite food is seconds. Uh, nice, very Put nice. Well, seconds. Boom, boom. Yeah. Sorry, the band wasn't paying attention, Tom. I'm sorry. <laughs> so I almost didn't make it here today, actually. Really? Yeah, I've been in court all day. Oh, no. Yeah, it was happened? the food court at the mall. Oh, okay. So you were there. I'm at the food court. I'm at sitting the there minding my own business. This fat chick waddles my way with oh, a shirt no. that says guess. And what was your guess? I said 350. Oh, see, <laughs> she was a big girl. A big girl. Yeah, she, she, ate my, she ate my Cinnabon. Oh, well, then 353 yeah. right there. Exactly. Yeah, she went up. Yeah, so now we're dating. Oh, that's good. Yeah. It's always nice to have somebody have something in common with. That's true. 
Yeah. At night, we don't spoon, we ladle. Nice. Very yeah. good. That's very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's impressive when both of you have the same communication. Uh -huh. Communication's important. Right, right. So, um, yeah, I recently got a cat. Okay. He's a, uh, a rescue cat. Oh. Yeah, his name is Joey Bag of Donuts. Oh, nice. I, I, I didn't name him. He came that way. <laughs> but okay. he's a great cat, but when I don't show him enough attention, right. he's got this passive-aggressive thing going on. Like, I'll come home and find out... He threw up in my shoe. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, not good. good. No. Now, I'm running out of shoes, so I got even. What, what'd you do? When he wasn't looking, I took a dump in his litter box. Oh, that'll fix him. Yeah. Yeah. He, the, he thinks he's got colon cancer. Yeah, he probably poor, does. Sure. Poor guy. Poor cat. But uh, <laughs> this was a week ago. He's still trying to bury it. He's still trying to bury it? Yeah. Oh, that's not good. No. Oh. No. But uh, yeah, when he ticks me off, I chase him around the apartment with chopsticks. Do you really? Yeah, I'm going to get you, you number 24. Yeah, you never get to Chinatown. Yeah. yeah that's nice. <laughs> you ever notice you go to Chinatown? You never see dogs or cats in the neighborhood? Never. Never. And every night is, is garbage night. I noticed that. Yeah, yeah, that's true. You know, I never noticed that. But that's true. So, yep. uh, Tom, yes. thank you very much well, for being you. the first guest. Thanks for doing a little bit for me. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Tom Mongelli, folks. He is a very funny guy. Uh, make sure when you see him, uh, or if you see him advertised, you go see him. Uh, sometimes he's on a show that I might be putting on through John Harris Comedy or Jersey Comedy. I try to get him on there as well. Uh, you can find him, Tom Mongelli Comedy. Oh, it's Comic Tom oh, Mongelli. I apologize. See, there we go. Straighten me out. Go Comic TomMongelli.com. Okay. Uh, and they can hit you on Facebook too, right? Yeah, you can find me on Facebook. Facebook. Um, I have two actually, Tom Mongelli and Thomas Mongelli. Ah, uh, schizophrenic day when you set them up? A little up? bit, yeah, just a little just bit. Just a little bit. You don't want to miss something. So <laughs> We're going to get ready to take our next break, but I do want to thank Tom for being the very first guest here on It's Showtime, South Jersey. Hi, everybody. John Harris back with you. Thanks again for tuning in to It's Showtime with John Harris here on QVC TV 22 uh, and QVC TV 22.com. So, uh, and look for us. We're going to have our own Facebook page pretty soon, so you can always go back and see our episodes. I want to thank Tom Mongelli tonight for being our first guest here on It's Showtime with John Harris. It's been a lot of fun, Tom. Thanks for coming out. Thanks again to Tom Mongelli, my co-host Greg, and to uh, Josh Suey in the booth. Thanks, folks. Have a great night. We'll see you later.